It began at dawn when thousands of rockets were fired from Gaza and militants flew over in paragliders. Around the same time, drones armed with small bombs targeted remote-controlled guns and attacked cell towers. With cellular signal knocked out, Israel was reportedly blind to the scale of the assault. Fighters then destroyed sections of the nearby border fence, allowing motorbikes, trucks and gunmen to pour through. At the Erez crossing into Israel, militants seized control of the building, killing and capturing Israeli soldiers. It was the deadliest single day in Israel's history. At least 260 people were gunned down at a music festival held in the name of peace. Their Hamas killers came from the sky in paragliders and stormed across the border from Gaza on motorbikes and in trucks before unleashing a deadly hail of bullets. In total, more than 2,000 people were wounded in the largest surprise attack on Israel since Yom Kippur, almost 50 years ago to the day. Netanyahu has told his people to brace for a long period of war. Like everybody else, the pain, the shock, the, the hurt, the tears for what has happened on October 7th is devastating and is still hard to comprehend. Who would have thought that in today's day and age, we would be seeing cries and calls for extermination of Jews again? They were fired up. Frenzied. What was meant to be a peaceful pro Palestine demonstration, anything but. As an Israeli flag was set alight, flares thrown, and anti Semitic slurs chanted in front of one of Sydney's most famous landmarks. We are being challenged in a decisive moment of truth. Who are we? Everybody wants to do something for Israel. Everybody feels connected to our family in Israel, to our brothers and sisters in Israel. When you ask someone, do you have family in Israel? The answer is yes. Seven million of my family live in Israel. Our secret of survival for over 3,000 years is our God, our Torah, our land, and Am Yisrael, our unity and our community. So at JYN, all our classes, all our programming, everything today is about Am Yisrael and Eretz Yisrael. After long deliberation, we came up with 13 specific plans to help support Israel and our community. As we were dancing and crying on Simchas Torah, we realized what the Rebbe taught us again and again and again, that the Jewish battle is always fought on two fronts, the material battle, the physical battle, and the spiritual battle. Tefillin is considered a spiritual protection for the Jewish people. Knowing this, the Jewish Youth Network decided that we are gonna sponsor 36 pairs of tefillin for the hardest hit communities in Israel so that on the army bases and in the cities that are most affected by the atrocities of October 7th, thousands of Jewish people, soldiers, community members, teenagers, young adults, could come and put on tefillin for the protection of our soldiers, for the protection of Am Yisrael and Eretz Yisrael. So one day at Westmount, there was a swastika drawn on our second floor bathroom. This created a feeling of fear and we decided that we're not gonna be afraid. We're gonna show our strength and our power, and we said, we're now gonna come to school and show off our Jewish pride. And so having the halls filled with flags and blue and white and bracelets and kippahs was an amazing moment where everyone felt like they were safe, secure, and that they felt strong and powerful. Education is power. Knowledge is power. We don't need to go out and yell at all the haters and respond to them. But what we do need to do is empower our own, empower our youth, empower our community with education, with knowing 
who we are and what we are. And that is why we have developed amazing focused curriculums that answer the questions of today, of Israel, of Jewish identity, of our connection in the diaspora to Eretz Yisrael, of the holiness of every inch of the land of Eretz Yisrael, and the importance of Jewish identity today more than ever. We started a project called the Am Yisrael Chai campaign. People from across the country asked us on Instagram where they can get a bracelet like this, and now we're ordering 20,000. We went from 1,800 to 20,000. Everyone knows how amazing the kosher pickle truck is. And to make it even more amazing, we decided to make all the proceeds for the next month go directly to support Israel. Writing a letter in the Torah is a demonstration of unity of the Jewish people. At JYN, we are writing a Torah. We started during COVID, and that Torah will be housed at JYN for all youth activities. So purchase a letter in the Torah for you, for your child, men, women, and children. Everybody should have a letter in the Torah. And this is a demonstration of achtut, of barcheinu avinu, kulanu ke'echad. Our Father in Heaven blesses us when we are united. We're also launching a daily mitzvah campaign. Bring a little more light into this world. Do a mitzvah. It could be as simple as waking up in the morning and taking a nickel and putting it in the charity box. It could be as simple as lighting candles before Shabbat. But this mitzvah campaign, our goal is to get thousands of mitzvahs going on now during the war. We're supporting good over evil by bringing more light into this world. The army is strong, we're doing all right. There is one thing though that I would like to ask you all back at home to do for us. And that's one more mitzvah that can help us out and give us that extra strength that we need over here. It'll help us a lot. The material support campaign. Our brothers and sisters in Israel are in need of essential supplies. So we just finished putting together a committee of people to research the most ideal items that we can send to them. In today's society, a lot of people are on social media and the information that is on social media creates a big effect on their mental well-being. So JYN decided to introduce a social media campaign. Whether it was Jewish and Proud or Canada Loves Israel, these messages gave off a peaceful and positive message that went online and really made people in our community feel empowered and also the people in Israel know that we are there for them with whatever they need. For the last 20 years, we have dreamed of launching a true immersive Israel experience for high school students. When you could touch your heritage, when you could feel it, it changes you as a person. This is not another summer camp. This is about creating and developing and empowering young people to be our ambassadors, to be connected to Israel, to be connected to Am Yisrael, to be connected to our Torah, our heritage, in a way that you could only experience in Israel. So they could bring that energy back and change lives. Help us make this dream come true. Help us launch our very first JYN Israel youth experience. We've been getting a lot of requests from soldiers who want CT when they go into battle. JYN has decided that we are gonna donate over 180 CT to these soldiers and we need your help. So it is $8 for one pair of TT to be donated. This can be done through many different ways, so feel free to reach out to JYN if you're willing to help. Hey, Jewish from Toronto. Guys, this is amazing. And this is the best, the best of the best of the ceramic vest. This is a real ceramic vest. Toda Rabba I wanna wish you only happiness, machot, and Bezrat Hashem. We can't wait to see you here in Israel. I'm excited, hi. As a Jewish youth, I never really understood the importance of having mezuzah on my own bedroom door. We are gonna get 180 students to put a mezuzah on their bedroom door, and I'm one of them. At JYN, our doors are open. Whether it's a high school student, a university student, a parent, a parent and their child together, feel free to reach out to JYN, whether it's myself or the other rabbis and rebbitsons, or our professional therapists. We have resources available for anybody who is struggling, whether it's questions answered or just somebody to talk to. At JYN, our doors are always open. Call us. We are here. We are a community. We are a family. We are standing together and we are always going to be helping each other no matter what. I have never seen such an awakening 
of Jewish identity than I have since October 7th. Today, every single Jewish youth that I meet, every parent that I meet, every alumni that I meet, they're lining up to put on tefillin. They're like, Rabbi, wrap me. The lines are out the door. I've never had this before in JYN. In 20 years, we're sitting here in the soon to be complete JYN Robbins Family Youth Center. And this center is truly a testament and will be a place where thousands of high school students, thousands of youth, thousands of teenagers, thousands of young adults will call home. A place where Jewish identity will thrive. And today more than ever, we rededicate ourselves to the mission of JYN. We rededicate ourselves to Am Yisrael, to the mission of bringing light into this world, of strengthening Jewish identity and continuity. And this center is exactly what we need now more than ever. This is going to be the place where they all will feel safe and comfortable and be able to talk about Israel, be able to discover their Jewish identity, be able to be Am Yisrael Chai.